Tonight, call it buyer beware or just plain common sense. IT team investigator Katie Legron discovers a black market for, get this, taxi rides. Yeah, that's right, an underground Uber. And it's risky, dangerous, but thriving right here in the Sunshine State. You're watching me loading up to take a ride with this guy, a stranger who hasn't been vetted or hasn't passed a background check to pick me up, drop me off, and ultimately take my money. Dumb on my part, right? Let's back up. Turns out he's part of a black market gaining speed across Florida. Let's do cash rides, Florida. Thanks to social media, where so-called cash rides are actual public pages on Facebook, connecting desperate riders with available drivers. 24 hours a day, seven days a week for cash. I was just shocked that this is so unregulated. That's our whistleblower, Victoria Gunbranson. We met her this summer when she was an approved Lyft driver. She told us she first heard about these unapproved cash cabs months prior. Are these stealing business from you? No, I don't think so. So what's the big deal with them? It's the consumer safety. We go through a background check. We go through all these extra protections. You don't know if the person you're getting into has a criminal record, is a registered sex offender. You don't know this. So we did some digging to find out and found some drivers soliciting rides for cash had histories riddled with traffic violations. Red light running. Others we found had criminal arrest for assault, battery. And this guy who made sure to advertise his marijuana friendly ride neglected to let potential customers know he's been pulled over so many times he can't legally drive. That's right, the state revoked his driver's license years ago. Scary. Mm. Chris Black is an insurance guy who can only count the ways this cottage industry is all wrong. If you are in that vehicle and you are injured, who's going to pay for my damages? Who's going to pay for my medical bills? Definitely a high risk, absolutely. For who? Uh, for the passenger, for the, for the drivers, for everyone else that are on the, on the roadways. As for my cash cabbie, we checked his background and clean driving record before setting up our 12-mile ride which cost me 18 bucks. Oh, and in case you're wondering why he doesn't just drive for a legitimate rideshare program like Lyft or Uber, he wouldn't talk to us on camera, but tells me his car would not meet the requirements. We contacted Facebook to alert them of these unregulated groups. We have yet to hear back, but we are hearing from some angry cash drivers who tell us legitimate rideshare programs have also had issues employing dangerous drivers. They also say it's hard to make money since the companies take a portion of their earnings. Still, the Florida agency that oversees rideshare programs are warning consumers to stay away from these cash rides, calling them shady businesses. I'm my team investigator Katie Legrone taking action for you.